In this video, we're going to have a look at destroying things in Unity. This is a pretty easy and short video, but creating shadow effects in Unity is just so much fun. So let's get started. Destruction in Unity is something that can be achieved in two ways. The first one is destroying your object through some kind of script. Here's an example of a Unity asset that does exactly that. We can see that it splits up our objects into chunks and then applies physics to each chunk. However, this way is actually really performance intensive and also, as you can see, sometimes quite expensive. What you can do for free is split up your model in some kind of modeling software. This way you will have way more control over how the object shatters. A good example of this is the crate here. We don't want to split this up into chunks. Instead, we want all of the different wooden panels to separate and some of them to break so it looks like wood. And the glass bottle here should, for example, be hollow. Of course, not everyone knows how to do this stuff in a modeling program. So for the crate and bottle, Doc has actually gone ahead and made destructible versions already. To download them, we simply go to devassets.com choose Western Props Pack, choose the price and hit the blue button. Then to open the example scene that I'm using, simply unzip the file, double click on the folder, and then double click on the Unity package. Right, so let's begin with the crate. Let's go to Western Props, Prefabs, and drag the wooden crate into our scene. We can then hit F to focus on it. And this is currently without a collider. So let's go ahead and add component, box collider. And let's also add a rigid body. Of course, this model is not currently split up. Instead, we have a separate version, the wooden crate cracked, that if we drag it into the scene, we can see all of the different pieces. Let's expand this in the hierarchy. Select the first piece, hold down shift and select the last piece as well to select all of them. Let's hit add component and let's add a mesh collider. Of course, mesh colliders are colliders that adjust themselves to the mesh. We'll also have to check off convex here. And now we can see all of the colliders in our scene view. Of course, we'll also want to add rigid bodies to enable physics for these parts. Let's hit add component, rigid body. Let's have each of these parts be around 0.5 kilos and set the mass of the wooden crate to something around 10. Now all we need to do is substitute our wooden crate with the cracked version whenever we want it to be destroyed. So let's take our wooden crate cracked here and drag it into the project panel to make a prefab out of it. I'm just going to hit apply. Let's remove it from our scene, select the wooden crate and add a new component. We can call the script something like destructible, select C sharp and hit create and add. Let's double click it to open it up in Visual Studio. And of course, what we'll be writing here is going to depend on when you want your crate to be destroyed. In our case, we'll just set up a simple example where whenever we click on the crate, we'll do the actual destruction. So let's remove our two functions and instead write void on mouse down. Now just like start an update, onMouseDown is a callback function in Unity. That means that whenever Unity detects we've clicked on the object, onMouseDown is going to be called. This of course requires the object to have a collider, but we've added that already. So in here we can instantiate our splintered crate, but first we need a reference to the object. So let's create a variable. We'll make it public to access it in an inspector. We'll make it of type game object to create a reference to a prefab. And we'll name it something like destroyed version. Now in our onMouseDown function, we'll write instantiate to spawn an object. The object we want to spawn is the destroyed version. We want to spawn it at our current position, so we'll input transform.position. And with our current rotation, so we'll input transform.rotation as well. And let's close this off with a semicolon. Now of course, other than spawning the new version, we also have to delete the old one. So to do that, we simply write destroy and then input game object with a non capital G. This refers to our current object that the script is sitting on. So that's actually all of the coding that we need to do. Now we can just save this script, head back into Unity. We can see a new empty slot here. This is where we can drag in a wooden crate cracked prefab. Try saying that three times over. Let's have a look in our game view here and we can easily see the crate. So we can just go ahead and hit play. And when we now click on the crate, it shatters. And just to show you how easy this effect is to apply to other objects as well, we'll take the whiskey bottle and drag it into a scene, hit F to focus on it. We'll go ahead and add a new collider. You could of course go for a mesh collider here, but I think the box collider will do just fine. So let's add one. Let's also add a rigid body and our destructible script. Now we can turn down the mass to be something like 0.5 and we of course need to create a destroyed version. To do that, we just drag in the whiskey bottle cracked. You can see that this only has two parts. Let's select both of them, hit add component, mesh collider. And let's make sure to check off convex and we'll also add a rigid body. Finally, we can set the mass to something like 0.2 Make a prefab out of this object. Again, I'm just going to hit apply. Remove it from our scene, select our whiskey bottle and now drag in that prefab. 
Now this might be a bit hard to see with our current camera angle, so let's use a nifty trick from my recent top 10 Unity tips video. So let's get a good look in our scene view, let's just zoom out here a bit so we can also see the crate somewhere around here. Let's select our main camera and hit Control shift f That's going to align our camera with our scene view. We can also easily take our whiskey bottle and just duplicate it a few times and move it around just so we can see this working on multiple objects. Let's now hit play and you can see that we can now shatter these bottles and it looks awesome. And of course the create as well. So that's pretty much all I wanted to show you in this video. This is really one of those very simple techniques that you can just have so much fun with. If you want to challenge yourself, you can experiment with creating a script that will make an object shatter if it falls from a high enough distance. Here's a hint on how to do that on the screen. Oh, and I will of course go ahead and add all of the colliders and rigid bodies to these prefabs so that when you download the pack, everything just works right away. I'll even include the example script, just make sure to add it to the objects yourself. So that was pretty much it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, make sure to subscribe so you don't miss another video, I upload Sundays and Wednesdays. Also, if you're a fan of the videos and want to help out, you can go to patreon.com slash to make a monthly donation of your choosing. So have fun with the effect and I will see you in the next video. Thanks to all of the awesome people who donated in January and a special thanks to Derek Heemskirk, Faisal Marify, James Callahan, Robert Barnum, Peter Locke and Jason Dottito. If you want to become a patron yourself, you can do so at patreon.com slash Thanks a lot, guys.